Alright, Jesus is Lord. Alright, we're back. This is going to be one of the last videos of the night, if not the last video of the night. And what we're talking about is we have Stacy here, and she was asking questions. Do you have any more questions, Stacy? Or... Okay, I guess my last question um, is when is this uh, 9 23 17 thing over with? When is this it or. We are, are we expecting something else? Okay, now we went and bought this calendar from Grandma here. And it has the High Holy Days on it. You see where it says Rosh Hashanah here on the 20th? You see where it says Rosh Hashanah there? And then over here it says, let me get my glasses going so I can see. Rosh Hashanah ends at nightfall on, the tw on, on that night. So that's the night we celebrated the Feast of Trumpets this night. This night, of course, is a Sabbath day night, and this is the night that they, that this is the 923 that they point all the way through history. There's, now, if you look back in 2015, there was something going on 923. If you look back in 1984, and just all throughout history, 923 has always been your day, but it falls in this season here, just like Easter falls in Passover season, the, um, it falls in this season here, which is the High Holy Days. Now, this is a Yiddish word, Rosh Hashanah. Uh, There's a Yiddish word over here. It says Yom Kippur. That's the Feast of Atonement. And those are Yiddish words. And But they point to our, high, the, our feast days, the seven feast days of the Bible. And there's a di an additional one over here. And that's Sukkot that it begins at sunset on the 4th. Okay, now, like I said in a previous video, 923 means nothing, but these dates mean everything. This Rosh Hashanah on the 20th, and Yom Kippur on the 29th or the 30th, and this, uh, this, these uh, Sukkot days, and those are the uh, official days. Now, we know something did happen on 923. What happened on 923? The signs. The sign in the sky. Revelations 12. That's over here. That, that thing happened in the sky where you have um, you had a virgin clothed in the sun with the moon at her feet. And she was crowned with 12 stars. You can get closer, I believe. So she might be able to see the thing. She... That's probably... So, you know, she's crowned with the 12 stars and the moon at her feet. And then you have, she's giving birth to a man child. I don't really see that on there. But then you have this dragon that's standing at her feet and waiting for her to come. So you saw this sign in heaven. And what they're expecting is this one to come immediately after. And since it didn't, you know, everybody's saying, oh, it was no big deal. Uh, nothing happened again. You know, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Nothing may happen in 2017, but before we get, before we, you know, get too far and say, well, nothing matters, um, there was a sign on this day. So the next one, the next day could very well be this one, Yom Kippur, right? Yom Kippur, if you look over here, I'm still in this Charles Larkin book. You have the feast days here, right? Uh, let's zoom in and go look and see if we can see any of that. Again, this is go on the web. If you go to Google, and we could probably put some links in there too. Uh, we're gonna tighten some of this stuff up. We were just rushing to get some of this stuff up. Um, but you can look at this one in the same place you found that other one under um, um, uh, Feast of the Lord on Google or anywhere and look at the images you find this and it talks about the seven feasts of the Lord. There's Passover, unleavened bread, first fruits. First fruits. Passover, unleavened bread, first fruits, Pentecost. Now all of these feasts have already taken place. Right? All this is when we got the Holy Spirit. This is when Jesus died on the cross. Um 
Um, this is when he came out of the grave as the first fruits, and this is the time he spent down there, they try to say. But uh, we know that those have been already fulfilled. Now you have three other feasts that have not been fulfilled yet. It's these three right here. Uh, trumpets. We can say trumpets has been fulfilled. We can check that one off. That's what's the scary part is because we can actually say we saw this thing and we actually saw the fulfillment of this one. I mean, throughout history, people are going to point, going to point back to this in Matthew chapter 24. I'm going to come over here and show you Matthew chapter 24. It may take people a little while to catch on and be like, yeah, that one happened. But you see here, it says, immediately after the tribulation of those days... Shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear a sign of the Son of Man. And, um, then shall appear uh, the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man come in in great clouds of heaven with uh, power and great glory. Okay. And then it says, And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds. Okay. So we've seen the sign. And what do you say? Followed by the sign, you'll see the trumpets blow, and you start to gather the people together. So that one right there, it, it can, I mean, there's going to be a lot of people that argue that that one has been fulfilled. Well, when these were fulfilled, all of these were fulfilled within six months of each other. All four of these feasts happened within six months of each other. Actually, within about uh, um, um, uh, eight weeks, eight or nine weeks. Eight or nine weeks, all of these were done. Right, because Pentecost was uh, 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 seven weeks out, and these took place the week before. You know? So, and then over here, so if we're, so we're, Fully expecting all three of these to be to come at at the same time. This dot 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 feast feast feast, meaning he blow the trumpets on that day. That was a sign in heaven, and then atonement day we expected something else. Now let me see what Charles Larkin is trying to say here. Let me see if I can zoom in on this. He says historically the fountain of Zion. Uh, not I think no no no. The fountain of Zechariah 13 and 1 was opened at Calvary, but rejected by Israel. After they are regathered, they shall look upon him whom they pierced, Zechariah 12 and 10, and accept the atonement nationally. So, um, I, uh, I don't know what could possibly happen, but my point is, guys, is that Atonement day ain't came up yet. Sure, we got a sign here, but we ain't made it to this date yet. So we can't just forget, say this 23, this 923 thing is gone because we ain't we ain't got here. Well, look down here. Where are, you, where are you looking at? We haven't gotten to this point here. Yom Kippur. Mm -hmm. We haven't gotten to that date, and we haven't gotten to these dates over here, uh, which is the beginning of Sukkot. That's a holy convocation on that date. That's the date that everybody's supposed to be in tents. Okay, how, how many minutes we're at, Steve? 8.56. All right, we'll finish up here, but no, the 923 thing doesn't end until you at least go up here to the end Sukkot ends at nightfall. That's the 11th. That's, that's the night you're supposed to come out of the tents. Um, at the end of that feast, like we told another one, there's always a day or so close to another holiday or close to it. But this is the day right here that it ends. That's when, if you've seen nothing by this date here, 11-11. Uh, 10-11. 10-11. Yeah. Then you can officially say, see you next year. Y'all, they'll be talking about 9-23 next year. <laughs> That's 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 my wag if you know what I mean. Anything okay. else? I think that's it. All right.
watch out for these dates, guys. Look at them other videos on uh, those days coming up. Atonement, that's the day we fast. That's the day you uh, take off work. And then um, Sukkot, that's the day you need to be trying to find yourself a tent. Jesus is Lord. Shalom.